Hey everybody, um, I don't know, I wanted to talk about some weird experiences I've been having and just kind of raise awareness about it, um, because I'm not the only one who's experienced it and I've kind of been like, once I've told, like, different people about this stuff, they kind of just are like, mind blown, um, because almost everyone realizes that, like, hey, something's different. Um, for me, it's, like, a little bit stranger, because, like, I'm noticing changes within a lot of stuff. And it's kind of disorienting, because there's not anything I can do about it. But, you know, that's the other thing about this. Like, I can talk about it, but there's nothing we can do about it. So, what... What is it? I don't know. But, um, I've been kind of learning about, like, a name for this phenomenon, which is the Mandela Effect. Um, and the reason it's called that is because apparently there's a large number of people who remember specifically Nelson Mandela passing away in the 80s in prison and it being all over the news and that sort of thing. So that's not my reality. Like in my reality, I think he died in 2013 or something, like recently. Um, and yeah, I mean, he was an old man when he died in my reality. So that's not really something that's affected me. But I've been affected by these like really mundane little things. And now I'm starting to get like really big shifts that are, like, freaking me out a little bit. Um, the first thing I kind of noticed years ago, before I did any research about this, before I, like, looked into any of it or had any name for it, was the um, Berenstein Bears, right? Um, and this is, like, a big one. A lot of people remember it being S-T-E-I-N, um, which is what I remember. And... I was at a thrift store, I think, and I, like, saw Berenstain Bears books, and I was like, oh, okay, and I was like, Stain, what the, what the hell? And I had this, like, little moment of, like, that's not right. And it's interesting to me because, like, I'm a very, like, growing up, reading was my thing. Like, you know, it's anything to do with language, writing, reading, like, I memor and memorization, like, I remember things really well. Um, and I also, like, you know, had a really easy time, like, reading large words, stuff like that. And I remember everyone calling it Berenstain. So why, why would it be Berenstain, which is apparently what it is. But, you know, at the time, I just was like, okay, clearly I remembered it wrong. And it kind of, but it made me feel weird, you know. It was like, I remembered this thing wrong, but... You know, memory is sometimes tricky. Sometimes it can be wrong, and that's okay. Like, it isn't always an accurate thing. Like, I didn't freak out about it or think, oh, my God. Like, it's the end of the world. It's, it was minor, right? And a lot of these changes, the other thing about it, they're minor. Um, but it's happened with, like, a shit ton of media stuff. Um, and I don't even know where to begin with it. Um... I could just start late listing off the examples, but, like, you can do your own research. But the ones that have kind of, like, really stuck with me, because I have very specific memories, um, Kit Kat, the, you know, the chocolate bar, those were my favorite candy bars when I was a kid. And I remember very vividly putting my fingernail into, like, the dash between Kit and Cat. Um because it was there. Of course, it isn't there. And if you look this stuff up, all of these different brands, all of these different companies are saying, you know, that their logos have always been this way. Um, and it's weird. And then there's all these people who are like, oh yeah, it's always been this way. So it's like, huh, that's strange. Very strange. So yeah, I've I just had a lot of little experiences like that. There's some other ones. Um, Volvo has really bothered me because 
now their logo is this sort of like Mars symbol. And I'm like, why is it this big masculine symbol on Volvo? Like, weird. And Volkswagen symbols changed. Ford has, apparently. Like, there's all these other brand names that have just slightly shifted, just slightly, ever so slightly, but enough to make you be like, kind of, huh, right? But that stuff's all kind of minimal. Like, if reality has changed in these little ways, it's not really a big deal, right? It's just, they're brand names. I don't really even care about these companies, you know? They're not any. I do business with. I don't eat Kit Kats anymore. I don't drink Coca-Cola. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't eat peanut butter, like, unless it's, like, Adams, <laughs> which is some good stuff. Oh, but I'll tell you what did freak me out. Actually, one brand freaked me out. Bragg's. Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Or Bragg's liquid aminos. It's Bragg. Yeah, I know. I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, what? No, it's Bragg's. Go into your kitchen and grab the bottle and see. It's Bragg. Oh, yeah. Like Billy Bragg. Yeah. That'll freak you out. It'll freak you out. Unless you're from another reality or something. Because that's the whole where this is all going. The theories around this are all over the place. And I don't know what to think. Like, some people think that we're, like, you know, from different realities or different dimensions. Like, that sort of thing. And, like, we've kind of been stepping in and out of them. Some people think it's related to CERN and what they're doing. I don't know. Some people think it's, um, you know, well, some people are like weirdo Christians and think it's the coming of the Antichrist, you know, and then who knows? Who knows? I don't really believe in that stuff. So yeah, I can't really relate to that, but I can relate to the fact that things that Things have just changed ever so slightly, and it's weird. Um, but the one thing that's, like, really kind of weirding me out is the sky. Um, now, almost all my life, the sun has been yellow. Like, not bright yellow, but a pale yellow. And, like, it would release, you know, kind of yellow rays um but it didn't really have rays like it does now like I see sun rays all the time now and I never used to <clears throat> the sun is like white all the time and that could be there could be explanations for this but nobody's talking about it and that's the thing that's like weirding me out it's like we're all just going about our business like nothing's different um you know and a lot of this stuff like if you've noticed changes, like, really look them up because, you know, a lot of the times we just rationalize it as, like, oh, well, brands change. You know, they change their logos, they change their names, it's not a big deal. And that would be fine if that's what had happened, but apparently it's not. So, yeah, um, the sun is really white. The moon's a little bit different, too. You know, um... Just the whole sky, and like, I don't know, there's just something weird about it. Like, I don't really know what to say about it. And I don't know, maybe it could be pollution as well. So like, I mean, maybe the sun is coming through different colors because of pollution. And that would be, you know, an explanation I could understand. But like, there's no explanation. Everybody's just going around like it's totally normal. And it's not. <clears throat> and you know what? Like, I was watching a woman's video um, today who's kind of been experiencing similar things. And she had mentioned that, like, the during the daytime, it looks like the eclipse a lot of the time. And, or like an eclipse is happening. Like, the way the sun is cast and the colors of the land... Not the, not the sun in the sky, but just the light itself that's out. It, it is kind of like that a lot of the time. Now, where I'm at, Portland, <clears throat> it's really gray. Like, the sky is really white or gray most of the time because it's winter-ish. Well, it's almost winter. 
and it's, you know, rainy here, and that hasn't really changed, but, um, you know, when the sun does come through, it's been white, and I was noticing that even when I was living in Arizona, like, the sun was coming through pretty white a lot of the time, and I was like, hmm, that's strange, maybe it's just where I'm living, but no. And a lot of people have, like, been mentioning, like, in these groups and stuff that they're having, like, bodily pain and changes. And, you know, my disease started right around the time that a lot of this, these changes started getting ramped up and noticed a lot more. So maybe it's related or maybe it's not, you know. Um, I don't know. But I do know that something weird is going on and I'm noticing it. Um, oh, there's another theory that because so many people are learning about how to manifest things that, you know, when you do, you are rippling and changing reality. But why would it result in, like, changes to brands? That just doesn't make sense. Um, oh, and a lot of Christians are, like, noticing, like, changes in the Bible and stuff. So if you're a Christian, by chance, maybe just keep your eyes open for that sort of thing. I haven't noticed anything that I, you know, go to for spiritual, um, reinforcement, I guess, changing, but it is tipping off a lot of Christians to be kind of, like, freaked out and stuff, but they're quick to freak out anyway, you know. We have this very strange Christian culture in the U.S. of just, like, really desiring the end of the world. It's very disturbing to me, but that is the trajectory they're on, and I would like to get off of that trajectory and not be a part of it, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, this, this stuff is just, there's a lot of weird things like that, and, like, weird synchronicities happening, and I don't know. I don't know, have you experienced anything like this? Is this the first time you're hearing about it? And now you're like, oh my god, this is different than this. Like, seriously look into it. Because, like, the other thing about it is a lot of people remember things differently. So, you know, what's true to me and the things I remember being different isn't true to everyone else. Um, my girlfriend and I, like, when I first kind of stumbled upon this like she and I had a lot of different ones but we also had a lot of ones that were the same like little things that you know remember we remembered and they're different so I don't know I mean I've always known that the nature of our reality is kind of it's a lot different than we believe it is and I've known that it's like I don't know there's just, like, things about it that are strange and that the average person doesn't have any access to. So, like, it's not that hard for me to get, like, wrapped up in conspiracy theories sometimes, you know, because they kind of fit in with, like, how I've seen and experienced the world a lot of the time. But, yeah, this one's just a little unsettling because I don't have any, like... I don't have a good theory for why it's happening. And I also am like, just, there's nothing I can do about it. So I don't know why it's happening and I don't have a good theory for why it's happening. And it's strange because it's so personal because it's like our memories. So like all these people have the same collective memories that are changing. Like why? Why is it all of these same why do people remember things all wrong? That's the thing that, like, is weird to me. So, I mean, the other thing is, like, you know, th one of the theories is that, like, our memories are purposely being manipulated. Which is probably the most disturbing thing. If it was just, like, that the world had ended and now we're in a different dimension or on a different planet. That's another one that people are thinking because, like, oh, that's one that really freaked me out I should talk about. When I was growing up, and even recently, like, whenever I would see a map of where we were in the universe, 
you know, or where we were in our galaxy, I should say, you know, in the Milky Way, where were we? It would be like kind of far out in the boonies. I don't remember the specific arm of the Milky Way because, you know, the Milky Way is a spiral and it has different arms going in. But now we're on a different arm, like on these maps. Um, and that theory, you know, would explain why the sun looks different because the sun looks hella different to me. But how the fuck did we get from our regular planet over here. That doesn't make sense. So, I don't know. That's one of the theories. The theories are all, like... I mean, it. I shouldn't say it doesn't make sense because, like I said, the nature of reality is very different than we believe it is. But... I don't know. I don't know. It's... It's unsettling. So yeah, I'm just having all of these like weird experiences and it's a little unsettling and it's been unsettling. And this is on top of like all of these just celebrity deaths this year, which normally I don't really give a fuck about. But like even last night, Fidel Castro died and I'm like, okay, great. Like all of these people who were influential to me in some way are like leaving the planet and like it's a little weird <laughs> I mean Fidel not so much I wasn't surprised at like Fidel or Leonard Cohen because they're both old they've lived long lives like I don't it's it's you know like oh you know goodbye basically but you know it's okay for them to leave but like Prince died right before my father died, and I was, like, really devastated about that, because he died, like, just a few days before my dad died, and that was, like, really devastating, because, like, he was the first musician I ever listened to that I really got into independently as an artist, and, like, he was so underrated, and I just loved him, loved him my whole life, like, even though he was kind of a dick, like, in a lot of ways, like, just so talented and influential like and so that was kind of a kind of like a weird one um David Bowie like I wasn't as devastated by like I didn't really care as much but I mean it was weird because he and I shared the same birthday so I was like I've always felt somewhat of a like interest in him just for that and I like some of his music and stuff but like I wasn't heartbroken or anything and like he was you know <laughs> not a nice man back in the day especially so can't really feel too much mourning for that <sighs> but yeah like it's been weird just death after death oh Pete Burns died like last month that was pretty hard like okay <laughs> Pete's gone. Pete's pretty young. I mean, Pete was, like, a year younger than my father, I think. So, people die at all ages. You're never too young to die. I don't like that statement where people are like, you know, they died so young. It's like, babies die, you know? Death comes at all different ages. She visits when she is meant to. Um, but, yeah, I've just been kind of like, okay, so all these people are leaving. Um, my reality is kind of shifting in really tiny but weird ways that make me kind of feel unsettled. And, I don't know, things just seem kind of strange and I'm having trouble processing it. So, anyway... Before this video gets much longer, and I don't know, I don't really have anything else to say about it because it's like I don't have any theories for why it's happening, but I really don't appreciate, like, all of the people trying to debunk this. I don't know, understand what that's about, really. It's like, first off, when your reality is shifted, and it's changed, and you know it's changed, and then people try to 
tell you it's you're just like imagining it that's really unsettling for one and it's like you know ugh. it's just irritating I guess it's not just unsettling it's irritating because like why are you so invested in controlling whether people <sighs> remembered something right or wrong like and I'm open to it. Maybe I've remembered all these things incorrectly. I'm open to that. But there's just so many weird things about it that don't make sense. Even popular quotes and phrases have changed. Like, things that a lot of people have misquoted for years. So, why? 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 <clears throat> I don't know. So, I mean, um... I don't know. A lot of it is just stupid. A book name changed. Oh, well. But, you know, some of it's a little bit more, more disturbing than that. And I wonder if maybe, like, I've traveled through dimensions without knowing it. And I've had a lot of dreams where I feel like not, where I've not been astrally traveling or even lucid. But I do feel like I've stepped into other dimensions and I'm aware of it when I'm dreaming because like I'm in a reality like I did this the other night where I was pretty much in a similar circumstance to now but I was like much better off like financially so like my apartment was a bit bigger and a bit nicer um but everything else was pretty much the same but I had like you know nicer windows and like nicer furniture and like um, better view, maybe. Not that my view is bad, but <laughs> it's okay. So, yeah, that was interesting. I, that's, and as I was there, I was, like, aware of the fact that, not that I was dreaming, but that it wasn't my usual circumstances, if that makes sense. So that's been happening to me, too, where, like, in my dream travels, I'm, like, stepping into these other kind of places that are very similar but slightly different so I don't know it's just unsettling I guess and I wanted to share that and see if anybody else through looking up this phenomenon would have any of these experiences and I hope I didn't just unsettle a bunch of new people but this is my reality so there you go Anyway, I guess we'll talk later. Bye.